Welcome to the channel. I'm Liz. And I'm Paul. And these are exciting times to push past fear, build confidence, and live amazing. And we're a little challenged right now. Um, as you know, we're full-time RVers. We've been doing this for three years, and we have never been accused of sugarcoating anything. We share with you the good and the bad. You know, we've seen some channels out there where they talk about RV life as if it's 100% vacation all the time. And it's not. And on the flip side of that, we get comments from people saying, well, you guys have the worst luck. Oh my gosh, we feel so sorry for you. Honestly, I think we have good luck and a good life, but we do keep it real. And today is a hard video to make. Yeah, it is. It's, it's one that, that nobody nobody wants to, to have to deal with this. So we made a video a couple weeks ago about mango. Mango uh, has been my constant companion for 14 and a half years. He's a Shiba Inu, and he started to go downhill in the month of August. And the video actually was really helpful because just about everything that you all suggested, we'd already been doing. He had been on cold laser therapy, on some special meds, chiropractic care, and he actually was having some good days. And then yesterday... Yeah, he took a, a bad turn, and, and it was obvious that, that uh, it was time. He's been having problems with arthritis um, in his back and having a harder and harder time getting up. And he actually strained his front legs trying to get up. And what happened yesterday is he hurt his shoulder. And so now he had three out of four legs not doing so good. Yeah, he could barely stand. And, um, and barely walk. And barely walk. So we made the decision to take him to the vet and and, um, and talk to them about quality of life and see if it really was time. Because for those of you that have owned dogs, you know that this time is coming. And you don't want to do it too soon. And you don't want to do it too late. You don't want to see your pet suffer. So I'm really glad that I turned over every stone. And I'm really glad that I had a great conversation with our vet. We are actually back in my hometown, so Mango got to go back to his hometown vet who remembered him from two years before. Yeah, she said a couple of times, this is not the same Mango that, that I remember from two years ago. She commented that he was tired, that his gums were pale. She found a murmur in his heart, and that's something new. And what that means is his heart was leaky. It wasn't working as good as it could. Yeah. I mean, we could have let him hang on for a little longer, but it was, we just felt that it would have been selfish on our part. Right. He, he was in he was in a lot of misery. He certainly wasn't loving life. I mean, that's the thing. You know, I'm used to Mango being who I always called my happy guy, always grinning, always happy and loving life. And that was what was definitely not there. Um, after he had a chiropractic treatment last week, he just grinned all over the office and had a great time. We didn't see that grin since, and it's really not been that often in the past month or even six weeks. Yeah, that lasted for about a day, and, uh, and then he went back to, to just struggling. Right, and he was refusing his medication. He also, um, even though I had him on the cold laser therapy, he was not wanting to do that anymore. And before we took him to the vet, I thought, well, let me give him some treats because he loves Greek yogurt and he loves hamburger. So I thought, I wonder which one he'll choose. So I put a dish down of each, and what did he do? He sniffed them both and walked away. He yeah. He didn't want either one. So if a dog is going to turn down hamburger, that's a message. And then the vet was wonderful in that, you know, she did say, well, you know, I can prolong his life. I can make him be more comfortable, but he's not the same dog. He does look tired. So if you're ready, then, you know, we'll, we'll give him the shot to heaven. And that was so hard. So we made the decision and Mango's gone. And yeah, it's so hard. It's been years since I've spent a day apart from him. You know, my favorite thing was to get up every morning and just bury my face in his fur and snuggle with him. And it's hard not having him. And, you know, it was hard to let him go, but I'm at peace. And in fact, I felt a rush of relief after he was gone as we were driving home because I realized that not only is Mango free now, 
but I am free from the constant worrying. How much did he eat today? Is he in more pain or less pain today? How's he walking? Did he poop? You know, all that worry. It takes a toll. I only had two years with him. The dramatic change from when I met you and met him to you know, what I saw over the last month or so. It was, I mean, it was night and day. I want you to know if you are thinking of RV life, I mean, regular life still goes on. Yeah, none, none of this stuff changes from whether you're living in sticks and bricks or living out here on the road like we do. If you watched our videos, we, you know, we, we had a couple of bikes stolen. Um, we had got into an accident at a gas station, you know. So we share that with you so that you know that life is real out on the road. All your problems are not going to magically go away. If you bring a pet with you, there will still be chances that your pet will get sick or even die or need, you know, some critical care. I want to share a couple memories of Mango. When I first got him in 2007, he was a puppy and he looked like a stuffed animal come alive. And when I walked him by the elementary school I lived near, all the kids would just love to come up and pet him and fuss over him. And one of my favorite memories is when I would walk him on the University of Kentucky campus and all the students would mob him and love on him and hug on him and talk about their dogs back at home and how much they missed them. And I just felt like Mango was doing community service. He, he was kind of a therapy dog. He was. He spread so much joy wherever he went. I know that he brightened so many people's hearts and um, I so appreciate having had the honor of being Mango's doggy mom. And for the short time that, that I had him, I was, I was a proud, proud doggy papa. Yeah, he loved you. He knew who the softy was in the family, and that was this guy, and he knew how to finagle a tree or two. I have been thinking a lot about a quote from a poet, an American poet named Edna St. Vincent Millay. Where you used to be, Where you used to be, there's a hole in the world, which I find myself constantly walking around in the daytime and falling in at night. I miss you, lucky devil. That is so good. Also, want to thank the A team for all your support through all of this. We we get so much strength, and and we just really appreciate your love and if you have any words of wisdom about going through a tough time after losing a four-legged furry creature we certainly appreciate that or just share about about your beloved pet and how much how fondly you remember your beloved pet because um, we're right there with you and we feel you yeah Thanks for all the love and support that, uh, that we see in the comment section. You can email, it's yours.